Well, over the weekend, I received a lot of calls and emails into the newsroom of people wanting to help. It's easy to feel helpless when you see other people lose so much. But already, we are seeing scammers at work trying to take advantage of your generosity. The biggest question we're getting right now, where can I drop off clothing and food? Well, right now, the evacuation shelters are inundated with items like that. What they really need right now is monetary donations. The Red Cross says they can buy necessities at a cheaper price sometimes and can provide more for your money. They can also provide some emergency housing assistance, which is what these evacuees need most. But in the last several days, we've seen the online efforts kick up, even door-to-door -door campaigns asking you to hand over your credit card number or cash. That is what you need to watch out for. The Washington Attorney General's Office and the Better Business Bureau have some things to watch out for to make sure your generosity doesn't end up funding a crook instead. One, be suspicious of solicitors requesting immediate donations. If they're rushing you, trust your gut. Also, watch out for solicitations on social media for individual victims. If you donate to someone's GoFundMe or a personal bank account, you can't dictate where that money goes. Never give your credit card number over the phone for anything, really. You're better off finding a secure website. And make sure the charity you're donating to is qualified for the specific type of disaster relief. And how do you know that? Well, the Better Business Bureau has a website called give.org. You put in the name of a charity, it'll tell you where the money goes, what it pays for, and their track record in dealing with disaster relief. The bottom line, be careful and don't let your heart overpower your instincts. I've put up a link to that website in the story on KXOY.com. You can also find it on my Facebook page. Just search Melissa Lutt, KXOY.